guys seem to really, really love this one. <sighs> it's a good one. It's a really, really good one. It's just a really beautiful fragrance that I like to wear. I'm just gonna be really, really honest. It's very intoxicating. One of the most beautiful vanilla fragrances of all time. Keep 10 for life video coming up right now. Tiff Benson here, welcome back to my channel, the place to be to help you find fragrances that you love. In this video, I am going to be discussing my 10 fragrances that I will keep for life. This will be my designer edition because I just can't see mixing my designer with my niche. To me, that's just two completely separate categories. It really wasn't that hard of a decision for me. Personally, designer fragrances are not my jam. I hope you understand, just saying. But I want you to leave a comment and let me know what fragrances, what are your 10 fragrances that you would keep for life? You could do designer too. Do designer with me because I feel like that would be easier. And if you're having trouble naming 10, maybe just do five. I know it's it's tough. It's tough for some people, but again, I knew my 10 and I'm ready to share it with you. So let's begin. So my 10 fragrances are in no particular order. This is not a countdown list by any means. I'm just sharing you the 10 fragrances that I would keep for the rest of my life. Designer edition. So here we go. First fragrance right here, it is Carolina Herrera's Good Girl. Talk about an impact. Like, look at the, look at this. Look at it. What a beautiful presentation for a fragrance, right? So this is a floral scent. Oh my gosh. The notes in this fragrance, we have tuberose, jasmine, tonka bean, and coffee. So I really enjoy coffee and fragrance whenever I stumble whenever I stumble across a fragrance that has coffee in it I'm just automatically drawn to it and this is one of them it's a beautiful just gonna spray my arm it's a beautiful clean scent it is so divine oh my god it is so divine and I feel like not a lot of people talk enough about this scent but it's gorgeous date night worthy um professional settings it has a lot of sillage it performs really well it smells so beautiful that people would be interested in it and give you compliments i really enjoy wearing this one and yeah here it is carolina herrera's good girl up next we have one of my favorites favorite favorite use your words <laughs> Favorite, favorite, favorite of all time. Um, it is Gucci Rush from Gucci. I love this scent. I've been loving it for a long time. I'm just gonna respray it. Not crazy about the packaging, but forget about the packaging. Let's talk about the juice inside. Damn, so this is an oldie but goodie. I had to double check how old this one is. It is 20 years old, came out in 1999. Notes here are gardenia, freesia, jasmine, vanilla, and patchouli. I'm obsessed with patchouli lately. I'm like going through a patchouli phase right now. But this one is gorgeous. Clubbing, date night. It's very intoxicating. Men seem to really love it. It's described as having a euphoric and intoxicating presence, and I definitely believe that's very accurate. And also, insider tidbit is that Tom Ford, my bottle is kind of dirty. This fragrance came out when Tom Ford was still curating for the House of Gucci, so in my humblest of humble opinions, it has a Tom Ford essence about it. It's in the vein of Tom Ford fragrances. Oh, I just love this one so much. I think it's a beauty and it's worth knowing about. Definitely check this one out. It is Rush by Gucci. Up next, we have Decadence by Marc Jacobs. So can I be all the way honest with you? I'm just gonna be really, really honest as I spray it. I am not a super fan of this fragrance. 
I think it's very over the top. It's super decadent, just like the name. But one thing is undeniable. When I wear this, people gravitate towards me. I don't know why. And men really seem to love it. I think because it's like thick and jammy and sweet and it kind of represents all that is a woman. It has that presence about it. And I think that's why men kind of like resonate with it. They're equally intoxicated by this one. It has notes of Italian plum, Bur Bulgarian rose, jasmine, and liquid amber. It's very deep and dense and fruity. And it's it, it definitely has like an intoxicating vibe about it. It's a bit much for me. It's over the top for me. But again, it is a part of this list. My keep 10 for life because I know what this does when I need it to perform. If you know what I mean. And I feel like every girl needs that sort of fragrance in their arsenal that, you know, will just seduce and destroy. Up next, we have Twilly de Mez, or as I like to call it, Twilly D. I enjoy this fragrance so much. Oh, yes. See, this is more my speed. Very classy, elegant, effortless. She's a little snooty. She's not as nice and um, inviting as the others, but equally gorgeous in her own right. Main notes here are sandalwood, ginger, and tube rose. Oh my gosh. To me, I just, you cannot go wrong with this one. A little mature, not for a younger audience. I feel like it's a little mature, but I think it's beautiful for, <laughs> I think it's beautiful for going out. See, this is my fragrance that I wear like when I don't want a guy to touch me. I'm just like, don't touch me. I'm, I'm wearing Twilly, like back off. It has that sort of, coldness about it I mean what can I say right I'm just being honest but it's beautiful I could see this being worn I'm gonna spray it here it, it's just it has so much class and presence to it I love this one I highly recommend it as you can see I'm kind of like halfway through my juice it's a good one it's a really really good one Definitely try it if you've never tried it. Lasts a long time, lasts really well on clothes, projects really well. And, and, and I could see it being unisex. It's very spicy. If you like spicy scents, not, it doesn't come across floral to me. It comes across very spicy with the ginger note. I just like this one a lot. It kind of represents who I am in a nutshell. So up next we have Angel and there's literally no way that I could have a top 10 designer keep for life fragrance list and not have Angel in it. Pioneer to the game, iconic fragrance. It has notes of caramel, chocolate, honey, and vanilla. I enjoy this one a lot. My mom loves Angel. She is like an Angel super fan. I also have a lot of uh, women friends who love Angel and it's just so iconic of the time when it was released. If there's one thing that you know about the house of Terry Mugler, they know how to do a gourmand. They can put a gourmand fragrance together and make it a masterpiece. So yeah, I really, really like this one. I could not m imagine a world of fragrance without Angel by Moogler. It's a part of my fragrances that I would keep for life. Up next, we have a fragrance that I believe I experienced last year and kind of fell in love with it, clearly. Clearly, you can tell that I've been using it and loving it. It is none other than Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. So I'm going, I'm going to spray this right here. I'm running out of spots. It's divine, yeah. Let's get into the nose so you can get an idea of what's in the bottle. Ginger, paracord, bergamot, 
white magnolia accord jasmine ginger lily cashmere woods benzoin and musk another fragrance with ginger in it secretly ginger obsessed over here it's just a really beautiful fragrance that I like to wear in those seducing moments too, those seduce and destroy moments. Guys seem to really, really love this one. And it's so funny. It's like, you know how you have those fragrances that you pull out in your arsenal because you're like, yeah, today I'm going to wear this because it makes that sort of statement. But here we go with our little, I don't know, $50 bottle of Ralph Lauren Tender Romance that works just as well, if not even better than some $300 niche scents. Again, when you're in those intimate moments, um, close encounter sort of situations, even if you're like, you know, even if it's like date night or you're in dinner or Netflix and chill type of thing, it's just a beautiful scent that that will get you noticed, but not in a stand out sort of way. It's really, really beautiful. I'm so glad I have it in my collection actually might buy another just in case they reformulate or change because this is the version that I like. I also like it to use just like out of the shower, like an out of the shower scent. So, so good. Tender Romance by Ralph Lauren. All right, so there is absolutely no way that I could do a keep 10 for life list, designer list, and not include my jam. My jammy jam. Tom Ford's Black Orchid. <sighs> so many memories. I've made plenty of memories with this fragrance over the many years since its birth. I've smelled this on guys that I fell in love with. I've smelled this on my mom. I've smelled this on myself. I've smelled this all around Manhattan, probably all around the world. It's such an iconic scent. There's there's no way that you have not smelled Tom Ford's Black Orchid. Perhaps my favorite little tidbit about this fragrance is that Tom Ford said that he created this to smell like a man's crotch. Ow. <laughs> I just love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's super spicy. Let's get into the notes really quick. It has notes of black truffle, ylang ylang, bergamot, black currant, black orchid, black iris, black plum, uh, lotus wood, coconut, cinnamon, balsam, and vanilla. This is a really good one too to keep in your arsenal for like um, those seducing moments. Makes an impact then it will make you stand out for sure. Another scent that I really enjoy and that's why it's in this uh, video is Tom Ford's Orchid Soleil. Both of these fragrances I've done, both of these fragrances I've done videos on, so I will leave them in the cards if you're curious. Orchid Soleil made me fall in love with the Tom Ford brand again. It was one of those fragrances that I smelled and it just, it kind of catches you off guard, you know? I feel like people might have overlooked it in time, but I think it's one of the most gorgeous vanilla lily scents ever created. It's very glamorous. It's very glamorous. It's very chic. It feels very elevated, super feminine. It has notes of tuberose. So noticing the trend here, right? Tuberose always has like that glamour, that glamour effect on me. Orchid, Spider Lily Accord, Vanilla, Chestnut, Cream, Accord, and Patchouli. I'm gonna spray this on. Not that I have too much room here, but to me this is something that feels very retro, very throwback. We love the Art Deco design, like this vintage apothecary style bottle. I just love this one. I really, really like it a lot. And there's not too many fragrances in the designer market that I'm in love with that have notes of chestnut and uh, and lily. And I love lily, but I just don't see it too often in designer fragrances. And this one is really, really nicely done. Next fragrance that I wanted to share with you, I actually don't have. I lent it out to a friend. But there's no way that I could post this video and not have a Chanel within this list. So 
My Chanel that I like to recommend would be Chanel Allure. Love and adore this scent. It's characterized as a warm floral. It has notes of peony accord, passion fruit, and vanilla. It is so sexy. Oh my God. To me, it's like putting on a beautiful cashmere sweater and just sitting by a window and reading a book and living your best life. It's just one of those fragrances. It's very warm and inviting and cozy. Sillage Monster, Longevity Monster, the Oedipathum version, get that one. People will smell it around you and hover around you and want to cuddle close to you because it is. it just has that beautiful, calm, soothing presence about it. Every time I travel through Duty Free, I smell that fragrance. Like that is the fragrance that I go to and I'm like, oh my gosh, this is me, Rich, living my best life, wearing Chanel Lord, just because, just because, just because. Highly recommend that one as well. And lastly, we have here Dior Addict, one of my faves of all time. Divine, divine. One of the most beautiful vanilla fragrances of all time, in my opinion. Let's talk about the notes. It has silk tree flower, mandarin leaf, orange blossom, queen of the night flower. That's what makes this fragrance super fresh, uh, special. It's hard to get that ingredient in here and it's super rare, which I wonder why. I've seen that this is getting increasingly hard to find, like it's all sold out. It's all sold out at Sephora, so you might have to go to a Dior counter to get your hands on it. And I believe it's because of that note. I know that it's a super rare, hard to find note. Um, bourbon vanilla absolute. So we're not just having like a regular vanilla schmamilla, okay? This is bourbon vanilla absolute. Bulgarian rose, sandalwood, and tonka bean. Tonka bean and vanilla, bourbon vanilla. This is a glorious oriental vanilla fragrance that will turn heads. Siage Monster lasts a hell of a long time. I think that it's super sexy. I think that it's super daring. This is the type of fragrance that you wanna wear when you're trying to make an impact. I just thoroughly enjoy this fragrance. I used to wear this fragrance when I worked in corporate many years ago. And um, yeah, by that point, I didn't give a damn. I was just like, you know what? I'm a perfumista. I'm just gonna, I know that this is not right for the office, but I don't even like the people in the office. So when I wore this in the office, I would always get compliments. And um, you know, like after work, like going out after work, I would wear this, I would just kind of like spray this on. People seem to love it. It's a designer scent, but to me, it kind of has like those niche qualities that I really enjoy in fragrance. This came out in 2002. Dude, that's so long ago, but I feel like I would still wear it. Still smells current to me. I really like it. Super enjoyable to wear. People seem to love it um, when I do wear it. And it's a gorgeous scent. Oh gosh, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Highly recommend this one as well. So because I don't wanna cheat, those were my 10, but here are three others that are honorable mentions. This is Jean-Paul Gaultier's um, Classique. Gorgeous scent, gorgeous, gorgeous. Um, they didn't make the list, but they're making the video. Givenchy's Hot Couture. And Givenchy's Live Irresistible. Check these out as well. They're not making my, my keep forever list, but they are honorable mentions worth checking out. Thank you so much for watching this video with me today. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found some fragrances that you might actually love. Don't forget the conversation continues over at the Fragrance Society. So if you're not already a member, I will leave a link in the description for you to request an invitation. Thank you so much for watching and I will catch you in the next one. Bye.